Today is this boy's seventh birthday, so his parents decided to have an outdoor check meal for Thier's son, but suddenly it rained heavily, ruining everything while the boy came in, suddenly, he saw two people intently playing chess, ignoring the fact that he was soaking sweat, peeling off the chess pieces as if they had magic power that attracted him, the next morning, he saw an old man opening a chess tournament on the street, at first, the old man did not agree, because he looked down on the boy who was too young, but when he saw the money, he immediately changed his attitude, he thought he had a good deal, but after only going to four countries, the old man was beaten by his mother, this child threw cold water on the mother face and was quite surprised because this was the first time her son played chess, the old man immediately made his most super VIP pro move, but the boy still caught him and lost his car unexpectedly, the old man said again that you lost to me, in fact, everyone who plays chess knows that you won right from the fought move, but to save the old man face, you didn't want to argue and stood up to thank the black guy with the hairy mouth, Old boss I saw the child talent and immediately asked what his name was. His name is Joss. This is a movie based on a true story about the youngest chess legend in world history, makes us forget the meaning of life. Then you must definitely watch this movie because it will make your eyes sting and change. You're thinking after hearing your wife tell about your precious son's suspicious husbands immediately took the chess set to invite No to play a friendly game, who would have thought that just after moving a few free moves, he had to freeze and think. While waiting for his father to take the next step, Joss had to run out to play, with his sister, to relive boredom, as soon as he heard his father calling him, he immediately ran down to kill his father pawn and then ran away to play. Fred was so dumb that he didn't understand what the hell going on, it was obvious that he was thinking crazy, during the afternoon, the son solved the problem in one fell swoop because he waited too long, so Joss took the opportunity to take bath until late in the afternoon, Fred could make another move, he happily thought that this game was a sure win, who would have thought, the son did not bother to play, but directed his father from Affer to move the knight in front of the king to help him. At this moment, the father suddenly realized that all his moves were being dictated by his son, knowing that Joss was a genius, he took him to the chess club in the city to find a good teacher for him but Mr. Brooks called himself and said he was no longer accepting students, Joss didn't care much because he was busy playing chess with the club, the best played in the club is a game of blitz chess where both sides take turns chasing, causing the timer to continuously chime, each sound reaching. The teacher ears, in the end, what kind of monster could be capable of doing so, with such quick thinking skills, the beat member of the club was soon defeated by a seven-year-old boy, Joss also gave his opponent a bag and left, every day, he went to the park and turned people away, playing here, he succeeded and lost, Coach Brooke was also present to see how the bye performed, he was extremely surprised, so he invited his father to came and talk, this is an international King Gate arena. With good played, most of them are gathered here and they are looking for someone who is the world chess champion Bobby Fischer, but none of these people have enough potential to become a champion, but he sees you, Fred's son was a rare and unique thing right away, the grumpy teacher created a difficult position for Joss to observe, after the boy remembered all the position, he immediately threw all the pieces to the ground, the goal Joss to improve thinking ability, he began to immerse himself in thought and recreated the entire chess position in his subconscious, translating the code to position C8, that right, then, Brooke carefully took out a piece of paper, this is the highest honor in chess, only those who have accumulated a certain number of points can own it, to encourage Joss for solving the difficult puzzle just now, he added 10 points for him a few days ago, after Joss was taken to the competition by Coach Brooke, after the organizers announced the rules of the game. The young players immediately entered the competition, the children here all very good at playing chess, every move has a difference, calculating like an adult, suddenly, a parent rioted because he thought his child opponent had cheated, so the other parents were also kicked out, the organized also carefully looked the gate, in order for the young players to not be affected, they went through several hours of continuous fighting, now there are only two players left who are soloing in the final including Joss, each of their move is broadcast by a boy running outside, Joss was the first person to lose his pawn, seeing this, the opponent parents immediately comforted Fred, I thought for sure his son would overcome the difficulty this time, a moment later another boy ran out to announce that the match had ended, but not saying who the winner was on the way back to Joss, holding the trophy calmly and sleeping soundly, but unexpectedly the boy, in his first time participating, in the national youth tournament, won the championship, from then on, Joss actively participated in the competition, fought and achieved so much success that the championship button were so numerous that they filled a corner of the wall, just like that, Joss had enough points to become the first in the list of young chess masters, this made Fred feel very I'm proud of my son, but spending too much time on chess also make Joss' academic result go down, the teacher, because he wanted his result to be better, reminded Fred to spend time time for his son to do his homework, unexpectedly, the father became angry, he extremely valued his son because he had achieved achievement that he could not do, a rare talent given by God and only available to those who are passionate about it, if you love her chess, you will understand that Joss will bring glory to this country, 
Fred Conwards made the teacher speechless and immediately turned around and left. The next morning, Joss ran to the park to meet Black and show off himself. His father was about to transfer to a new school where there was a very impossible chess club. At this moment, Joss saw a boy about the same age. I was playing chess with an old man. Everyone called him little boy. Bobby Pfizer only needed to make a few moves to defeat that old man. So Joss immediately returned to Coach Brooke to practice while enthusiastically exchanging moves. That boy and his master came over and he told Jonathan to follow. Since I was four years old, the boy only hobby is playing chess, so he wanted to come here to interact with Joss on some basic lines. His opponent temperament and confidence made Joss a complete opponent he had never had to face, with such great pressure that night, he asked his father what would happen if he lost to Jonathan. Fred assumed him that he would definitely win because he was at the top of the list of young chess players and of course people would came to him to help, challenge. But no one wants to prove to the second place person. The next day, Jake continues to compete, this time his opponent is Jonathan, confidentiality interviewed with a TV station that his son will definitely win. But as soon as he finished speaking, he saw Joss sadly walk out first, not only was he not comforted, but he was also reprimanded by his father for losing to his opponent after seven steps, in fact. He was not inferior to Jonathan at all, it was his weak mentality and never having experienced pressure like this that made him lose. From then on, Coach Brooke forbade Joss from going to the park to play anymore. He also did not allow him to play fast chess only when he played, slowly and thoughtfully, only then can you win in the long run. Just like that Joss practiced diligently and actively at home, your accumulated points are also increasing. Brooke wants his students to learn how to overwhelm the opponent's spirit like like Jonathan but you too kind and don't like making enemies with any more, right now. Joss only cares about when he gets the certificate, if he don't get it, he won't chess anymore. After listening, Brooke immediately pulled out a bunch of evidence, only this is what he always wanted to win but right now it just like a piece of paper because if doesn't win the championship then no one will remember him. Bro brought out a bunch of certificates and said he wanted to win. The mother saw this scene and immediately kicked the teacher out of the house. She did not want her little son to be under pressure, however, the father still wanted him to teach Joss, if he wants to succeed, he must persevere in training, you have to know how to face difficulties, if you falter, you will fail even more, lying in the room, he heard the poor boy parents arguing, he didn't want to be a burden to the whole family, so he took out a pen and paper to study, Jess saw that his son didn't come down for breakfast and immediately went to the room to ask him to stop. But Joss said he must win, hearing this, the father suddenly realized that he had been controlling his son more than necessary, unintentionally causing trouble, the pressure caused the boy to lose his natural development, so the next morning he took Joss to the park and let him freely play chess with his brother, in the end, they chose to play blitz chess to overwhelm their opponent from the beginning, seeing that Joss' style was different from before, he immediately told him to play. According to his heart, this statement helped Joss find himself, the drunk boy continuously made chess position to force the opponent into the same path as his father, seeing his son so enthusiastic, he was also very happy, the day has come to participate in the national competition, this time, there are nearly 200 participating players, if they want to the championship, they will have to go through 7 rounds of tough competition, Fred cheered the star, God made his son ready to fight. In the first match, Joss had to compete with the 82nd ranked player and of course Jonathan also participated in this exam, as soon as the Chinese sound rang out, the players immediately turned on the blood drying mode against their opponent, JN just about 20 minutes, Joss reached the third round, this made Jonathan a little worried, soon the two boys met again in the final battle before the competition, Brooke went to talk to him, Joss opened his backpack and took out a certificate of merit, certifying that the boy had reached the master level of the king, although it was not a high award, for him this was a priceless gift, he was very proud of him, his student and Joss was moved to hug his teacher, in the happiness effort that passionate hug of camaraderie, Joss was filled with confidence to enter the final match with Jonathan, this nerve-wracking battle was broadcast live to the audience, whole country watching Joss stop the timer on his watch, but the opponent still kept a clam face, he deliberately let the time pass almost before starting to make the first move, making Joss feel a bit pressure very quickly, my boy, we've lost an important piece, it seems Jonathan is trying to trap Joss so he can't concentrate and make mistake, the situation seems very tense outside, Black said Joss is playing along, the way I taught was still wrong because I didn't want to see my students fail, so I left, after a while to reassure myself, Joss regained his composure, with just a few basic moves, he checked his opponent position, Jonathan immediately pulled VU back, unexpectedly, this move caused him to lose his queen, however, the game was not over yet and he was in a losing position, Jonathan continuously took his pieces back while Joss took the opportunity to rush forward, attack his opponent, the rivalry between the two young players became more intense and unpredictable than ever, at this moment, Joss remembered the words that Coach Brooke taught him to look close at the chessboard, 
To predict his opponent next move, however, our boy suddenly proposed to make peace so that both of them could become champions, but Jonathan showed disdain and did not accept, since Trung Tam and the opponent wanted it, I decided to play until the end, the two sides kept eating each other pieces, in the end, they only had the king and one pawn left, but Joss was the phone queen first, so he won, after the match, everyone ran inside, congratulations, Joss finally overcome the pressure and became the champion, this is the end of the movie, hello, and see you again everyone.